In this video I'll show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC Windows computer. So let's get started. First of all, on your PC we need to go into the Bluetooth menu. So over here on the lower right side you're gonna click on this small arrow if you don't see the Bluetooth icon. By clicking here you should see appearing right over here Bluetooth devices. Click on it and then you should get add a Bluetooth device as an option click. This will open and now it's time to put the controller into pairing mode. How do you do this? Quite easy. You need to press the PS button at the same time as the share button, both at the same time until the light is flashing blue over there. So let me do it with you. I'll press both. I'm pressing and I'm waiting. Okay, it's flashing blue. I can release these buttons. Put the controller aside close to your PC. And now you're going to click on add device. Then you're going to click the first option, which is Bluetooth. And you're going to wait because your controller will appear in this list. Here we go. Dual Sense wireless controller. This is it. Click on it and it will start connecting. Once it's connected, it will say connected. Perfect. Press the done button. And you're going to see under inputs over here, connected with the green dot. This means that everything is working and you're good to go. So if you want to use your PS5 and your PC as a remote play, so you can play anywhere, well, go ahead, launch your games and it will work. If you want to play any games on your PC, well, the controller is now connected, so you can still use it for that. Once you're done and you don't want to use your controller anymore with your PC, go back in this Bluetooth menu and click on the three dots on the right side. Then click more options. If you don't see more options, you see it switched to remove devices. It really depends on your Windows version. Click remove device. It will take just a few seconds. Be patient and your controller will be removed. And I suggest you do this because then it will be easier to pair it with your PS5. So this is it. Next time you want to play, you just need to add it again by doing the same technique I just showed you. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.